guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be me filming my top five favorite hairstyles. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so this first hairstyle is a French twist bun. I'm going to grab a front section of my hair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into two sections. After I do that, I grab the top section and I put it behind that other section and then I twist it one more time. Then what you do is you just simply add pieces of hair to the bottom piece. After you add a piece, you're going to twist it to the top. Then you'll have another piece at the bottom and you'll add more to that bottom piece and you just keep doing that over and over to each bottom piece. You add a piece of hair till all that hair is twisted. Then we go on to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to twist and add to the bottom section of each piece. So you're just going to keep adding and twisting till all your hair is included in the twist. So I just keep adding to that bottom piece as you can see. And I just keep twisting, gathering all my hair. And then I grab those two sections and I twist it wrapped around each other. And then I just grab one hair tie and I put that up in a bun. Now this is my favorite part. You just have to pull and tug at the pieces till it looks like the way that you want it to look. And then we are going to grab some hair from the outside and then we are going to have our French twist bun and it's super cute and super easy. Okay, for this hairstyle I am going to part my hair down the middle and then I am going to grab a section of my hair from one side and then I am going to try my best to grab an equal portion of my hair from the opposite side and then once I have those two sections parted I like to put them on the back of my head and then just put them together and then put it as neat as possible. Then I'm going to be grabbing a hair tie and tying it on the back of my head and I'm just going to tie it not so tight but also not too loose to where it'll be falling out of your head because we will be fixing it later. And then we are just going to be fixing it the way that we like it. I like to grab this outer piece and then I just pull it and then once we have it how we like it that's going to be the end of our second hairstyle. It's just a simple very very easy look. Okay for this third hairstyle I'm just going to be teasing my hair a little bit just to give me a tiny bit of volume. As you can see I'm doing it to both sides of my hair and then I'm just going to brush it out so it doesn't look way too messy. After I do that I am going to grab my hair and put it all the way on one side whichever side you prefer. I just like putting my braid on this side. I'm going to split my hair into three sections and take that front piece that's closest to my head and put it in the middle and then after I do that I'm gonna grab the one that's on the back of my head put it in the middle and then just keep doing the same thing I'm just simply braiding my hair and I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way down and then grab a little rubber band and tie my hair off Okay, for this part, it's very important that whenever you try to expand your braid that you do one section at a time. That way, it'll give you the best look possible. After we have our braid out, what we're going to do with these pieces is we're going to grab our curly wand and we are going to curl them. And as you can see, I did split each section into three sections and I curled them just like that. I curled them on one side and then I went ahead and I moved on to the other side and I split it into three more sections just to make sure that the curls are nice and thin instead of being super super thick that's just the way that I prefer it that's how I got the little curls so I'm just gonna wait till these hairs are curly and then once I finish curling those sections I going to run my finger through them just because I don't want them to look super perfect and then I do this because it adds some dimension to my face and it doesn't just make it look like a simple braid and that is what that hairstyle looks like it's super cute and very fast okay for this hairstyle I'm gonna be Dutch braiding my hair that's the same as French braiding but instead of going over top you are going to go underneath and you're just going to be French braiding your hair. I only grabbed a section of my hair though. I did not include all of my hair because I wanted some hair to still be out. So basically the hair from my front 
is going to be out of my face but it's still going to be let down at the same time and then after I braid my hair all the way to the bottom I'm going to tie it with a little hair tie and once I tie it the way that I expand it is I grab both sides of the hair and I just pull on the braid and then as you can see right now I'm grabbing each individual strand and then I'm pulling it and then again I'm expanding it and then at the end I tug some more and that's what gives you the desired look that you're going for and then as you can see I'm moving on to the other side and I'm going to Dutch braid this as well I'm trying to show you the best I can it's basically just a Dutch braid exactly like a French braid but instead you go underneath and then like I said I do have some of my hair still out because I did not want it to be a full braid and then after I finish braiding that as you can see the difference between that braid that has not been expanded to the other one where I have already pulled and tugged and gotten my desired look once again we're gonna go on both sides and then after we do both sides we pull each individual strand like so because we want it to be like nice and thick we don't want it to just look super super messy so you have to be very careful whenever you're doing this and then I just keep pulling and tugging till I get my desired look and here is the final look two pretty Dutch braids now for this last hairstyle, we are going to be teasing our hair once again just to add volume to our hair and then we're going to gather our hair up all the way to the top and as you can see I had that middle part to start off with and then I just basically grabbed my hair around it. I know my hair looks super messy but this is the desired look that I'm going for. I love messy ponytails so then after I have my hair all together I'm just going to brush it just to fix some bumps that look like they're way too much and then I'm going to grab my hair tie and then I'm going to pull my ponytail through and then just make sure that it's nice and tight and after I have set my ponytail up as you can see I'm going to grab both sides and I'm going to pull upwards I didn't pull sideways, I pulled upwards because that gives you more volume. Then pull some hair out from the front of my face and then on the other side as well. I love doing this because it gives our face dimension and it looks like we're not bald, you know, because you're adding like hair to the front of your face. And then after I do that, I just pull and tug and till it gives me what I want. And then I don't like to stop there. I, of course, love to add my hair accessories. I am obsessed with scrunchies, hair ties, anything kind of scarves. I just love them all. I think they give your hairstyles super, super cute little... It just gives it a cute little touch. Okay, so then I add that to my hair, and then it just instantly changes the hairstyle. It looks super cute, and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that these hairstyles were helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. I'll see you in my next video.